Hey guys, it's Dan. Welcome back. I uh, I was busy building my Rus models, uh, building a bunch of Varangians and uh, some Yams Vikings, and um, was happy to do that for a couple more days before putting this video out. But um, I had kind of a catastrophe over at the building side of my work desk here, where uh, I've got a big container full of paints that uh, kind of randomly fell and uh, crushed a bunch of models. Uh, so I'm kind of demoralized over there. I've I've cleaned it all up. But there's a lot of like fixing I'm gonna have to do. Um, so I thought this uh, might lift my spirits to come over and just do a quick review of what I promised in my last video, which is gonna be uh, Victrix's new medieval and fantasy uh, head and cloak and shield conversion kit. Uh, for those that didn't see the Greek heads conversion kit that I put out a couple of months ago, this is the second in a line from Victrix that it seems that they're going to be expanding here pretty soon because they I saw there was like a questionnaire they put out asking people what they want to see next in conversion kits. Uh, I myself had suggested a uh, like two-handed weapon kit, like lots of Dane axes, any kind of two-handed weapons. They could really just take stuff from their existing kits and mash them all into one. And that way, like some kits, for example, the early armored Saxons don't have any two-handed weapons in them. You could pick up a conversion kit and uh, combine it with some of their existing boxes but anyway that aside um this looked promising when it came out this uh, is very clearly meant to go in conjunction with their mounted medieval knights that were released late this summer uh, an excellent kit i have a review up for that if you haven't seen it please give that one a watch i'll add a little bit of context to this video uh and when i first saw this it's interesting we'll take a look at the spruce here in just a second um, but in terms of like the way that it breaks up that you can see here that there's 62 heads 18 shields and 12 cloaks and juxtaposing that with the Greek head set, which is just heads, uh, I think it was like 144 heads, if I recall correctly. Uh, I initially thought like, oh, this is way better value than the Greek heads set, because both sets are the same price, if I remember right. I think it was like $20 US as the MSRP, which is about right for like conversion set with this number of bits. I'm, I got no problem with the price point. Um, so yeah, when I when I first saw it, I thought like, oh, this is a better direction, you know, kind of like mix up the types of bits. No, don't just make it all heads. It's going to be better value for me as a consumer. Um, and in going through the sprues, I um, I think my opinions changed a little bit. I'd like to talk about why. Let me move this aside here. I did what I did last time. I um, I broke down the specific types of bits, and like my head conversion kit for the Greek set, um, I did some color coordinating on the tabs on one sprue to help us kind of uh, visualize what's going on here. So two sprues, so we're gonna look at one sprue, but just again, remember that everything is duplicated because there are two total sprues. Let's uh, overview one of the sprues here and I'll explain what I've done here from a color coordination standpoint, because you can see what I've done is I've painted some of the tabs in different colors. Um, and I'd like to explain why. So there's your front and back of the sprue back of the shields are sculpted, which I uh, keep mentioning I like to see, just because that helps from a painting standpoint. So let's talk about breakdown here for a second, because uh, the, the, sprue, the layout of the sprue I found initially kind of confusing, like that's why I had to go through and color coordinate stuff, because it wasn't really clear, especially with the Teutonic and fantasy stuff, like what was intended to be what. And, um, and of course, you could really make <laughs> anything, anything you want to be, uh, I'm just speaking from the perspective of what maybe Victrix intended. So in terms of breakdown, each sprue is going to come with 10, what I'm going to call Swan Knight heads. Uh, you can see them here. I have it highlighted all these in that blue color. So you've got eight up here and you got two down here. And um, my first critique, I think, of these heads is I think these are probably the weaker sculpts on the sprue. I, I think that the Teutonic and the Fantasy heads are much more successful from a sculpting standpoint. I think part of that, um, I don't, I just don't really like the design of that personally, but you know, it's each their own. Um, but the main issue I have is that these are all the exact same head. It looks like duplicated 10 times, which, um, you know, I, there's only so much variation you could have with what's supposed to be like a uniform looking helmet like this. But um, anyway, that's food for thought on that. So you're going to get 20 of those heads. You're going to get 20 heads that I'm deeming definitely Teutonic, right? And so these I have marked in red. So you got two up here, one here. You got one guy down here, over here. Two over here. One here. One here. 
and then one here. So that's a total of 10 heads on one sprue for 20 for the kit. Those that I've marked in pink, I'm going to call like Satano Fantasy because Satanic heads are like inherently kind of fantastical looking. Um, and so you've got things like these antlers, for example, like could really probably be used for either. Uh, but I think that this was probably intended as a fantasy head just from some of the other sculpting that's on the helmet itself. Um, but as I said, you can kind of use them for both. So I've marked these in pink. So you got this one here. You got this guy here with the big stag antlers going on. And this guy down here, which has a generic enough looking helmet with these uh, kind of wicked looking horns. So there's three of those on each spruce, so six total in the kit. Uh, you've got 10 across the kit, so five on each sprue of what I think are definitely fantasy heads. And those have marked in white. So again, you've got red for the Teutonic, pink for the in-between, and then white for the fantasy heads. So this guy up here, if you use it on its own, is kind of a like Titano fantasy head, but it's obviously meant to go with these two uh, pieces here that make it look more like a Bretonian or a fantasy knight. So you got one guy up there, and then all of the others are down here. So you got one here, which is almost like a... <laughs> I've been building a lot of Rus, so I got Rus on the mind. Uh, but that is like a Russian-looking helmet. I, I don't know if it's meant to be like a chaos helmet or what. Um, you got this guy here, another generic helmet, but it's going with these two accessories. This guy here, which is going with these two, or excuse me, just that one. And then this guy up at the top, I initially flagged as like a generic helmet, but you can see from kind of that cross guard style on the, the helmet, but I'm going to argue that's more of a fantasy helmet. So you got 10 of those across the sprue, or across the kit, both sprues. Uh, and then you got six heads that I've marked in black that are generic knight helms, or great helm style helmets. So you got three on each sprue, six across the entirety of the kit. And we'll come back to this in a second, but from there, um, what rounds out the, the kit here is you've got these shields, which uh, I think are meant to go in conjunction with, again, what I'm calling the Swan Knight helmets. There's 18 across the kit. So you got nine total. Again, it's all the same shield. And um, you got these cloaks. You got 12 of those, though, again. You got six on each sprue. And each of these look a little bit different to me which is good. So you're gonna have six, it looks like unique cloaks, 12 across the kit. Um, so yeah, sculpting's excellent. I've really got no problem with that. My main criticism, again, when I first saw this, I was like, oh, this is great value. But now that I have it, I realized that like, for people picking up this kit, I think half of it is not usable, right? So for example, like say that you're buying, the, like I doubt anybody's gonna pick this up because they need Teutonic Helms, they need Fantasy Helms, and they need Swan Knight Helms, right? So like straight away, there's gonna be something in this kit that I just don't need. And like for me, Swan Knight Helms are, I, I don't need those. Like that's great if you've got um, like Lord of the Rings, if you're gonna be um, sculpting something for Lord of the Rings or you're putting together a force for that, that's cool. Um, if you wanna make, I guess like a um, Gondorian themed fantasy army of some kind like that's cool too or these are also kind of vaguely elven to me so that could work too um, but if you're not if you're after this for the Teutonic Helms you get a bunch of stuff that you can't use on the kit and then vice versa if you're picking this up because you want these swan knight bits you're gonna have a whole bunch of stuff on these sprues that you're probably not gonna use like they'll go into your bits box that's cool um, but I think what would have been better and uh, and I'll I understand like from a production standpoint difficult decisions have to get made but probably what it would have been better is is two sets, like one for Teutonic. Uh, you could have even made like a Teutonic fantasy, like Bretonian style helmet kit, right? Like these kind of guys that, as I mentioned, like kind of could work for either. Even the Teutonic helms could work if you're trying to make like a Bretonian kind of conversion kit. I think those would have been fine together. And then you could have had more of those. You could have had more cloaks potentially. Um, and then you could have had maybe like a Swan Knight kind of kit and maybe expand that out with some different styles of helmets some different even like weapon options would have been cool um, so you would have had two fuller kits uh, for conversion work instead of one kit that kind of um, maybe only like jumps halfway over the the gap for both directions be it if you're going after fantasy stuff or if you're going after teutonic stuff uh, a couple other quirks about it that i realize is that um 
the shields that you've got 18 shields to 20 heads, which might be frustrating for some. Uh, if you're looking, again, to pick this up specifically to make these kind of swan knight looking riders out of the medieval knights, might be a little bit frustrating that you have to then figure something else out for the two missing shields. Um, and the other thing that I found strange is the inclusion of these helms that, again, that I've marked in black and labeled kind of generic, that if you're picking up this to go in conjunction with the Medieval Knights set, like, I don't need any more of these heads, is the truth. Um, I would have maybe, like, if you were going to include them, include some of the ones that are rarer options in the Medieval Knights set. Um, but these, these, like, two in particular look like pretty generic helms. Maybe, like, larger great helm-style helms would have been cool. Um, but I, um, in truth, I, like, I would have liked to have seen more helmets like this, where, again, you've got these little accessories that come in, like, even scrapping three helmets like this to make one more fantasy offering, um, would have, I think, been, uh, better for the kit overall. Uh, but again, I, I really, I have no problem with this as it is. I, um, I think that, again, the sculpting is beautiful. Uh, I think that it is just more a question of, who is this for? Like, who's the, the customer that's going to pick up this particular kit? Like, the, the Greek Helms, I think, has a very clear customer. Um, I, I think that there, I've seen lots of ideas for different conversion sets that they can put out that have a very clear customer. It almost seems like they were trying to address two needs with one kit. And as a result, I feel that the kit kind of only halfway fulfills the needs for either customer. However, I do want to put some of these models together, uh, or excuse me, some of the Medieval Knight models together with these bits so that we can see how they look on finished miniatures. Uh, so let me cut here and I'll put some of those together for us. All right, guys, here we go. So I've done a handful of conversions here, but I wanted to point out real quick, because uh, I didn't mention it when we were looking at the sprue earlier, that some of the heads have flat bottoms and then some of the heads have rounded bottoms, like uh, kind of like a ball socket that is meant to, because again, this kit is specifically designed to go with the, um, Medieval Knight. I'm sorry, my hands are so filthy. I was just working outside. Um, but they're specifically meant to go with the Medieval Knight kit from Victrix. And I think at least one, maybe two of the bodies have these like ball socket joints. And then two of them or the other ones have um, flat bottoms. So that's why you see this difference in the way that the heads are meant to connect. So it's just something to be aware of that there are certain heads that are meant to go with certain bodies. That's why if we look at just like the swan heads, for example, eight of them are flats and then two of them are rounded. Um, this is not an issue if like, you're picking this up the kit bash with a different kit. For example, uh, it's easy enough to just cut those flat on the bottom to connect them up, but just something that I wanted you guys aware of. Um, yeah, so let me talk about cloaks real quick because I found <clears throat> from dry fitting a bunch of them that uh, I would say like, if you have three cloaks, one of them is definitely meant to go with a model. One of them will probably fit if you just kind of like finagle it a little bit. And then one of them will definitely not fit. And so this is a good case study in that. So here is a Victrix Medieval Knight. Um, so like this one here, it doesn't fit at all. You can see like it doesn't really matter how I angle it. It doesn't really connect up, right? This one will kind of fit if you angle it in a certain way. And then this one is the one I think that's meant to go with this body specifically. You can see how it's flush there. So again, I, I think that really you've got one that's definitely meant to, and then at least one other within the kit that can go with different bodies just from playing around. So that's if you're using the Medieval Knight kit to go with the conversion kit here. Uh, so what I've done here is I've done two Victrix Knights as Teutonics. I think these look really awesome. Uh, the cloaks are fantastic. I love the movement that's in them. I think the heads are well proportioned. They fit with this kit incredibly well. And I think that the Teutonic heads, like the way that they sit in with the fur line cloaks here, um, just make them look super imposing and cool. So yeah, I think that the end result there is very successful. Here's one, this is a War Games Atlantic Foot Knight from their new Foot Knight kit that I've thrown a fantasy head on. And you can see, I think that that's also pretty neat and work together quite nicely. Here's some Fireforge Knights. There's no arms on any of these either, except for this one. I kind of tore them apart for the purpose of the conversion here. Uh, so this is incidentally from the Fireforge Teutonic Knight kit. And I feel that not only are the lances too long in that kit, but I think the heads are too big. And you can see here that I feel anyway that I think that the heads are much better proportioned from the Victrix kit. 
that's a good way i think to elevate the older fire forge kit if you've got that and then finally um i mentioned i really don't have any use for these swan knight heads but uh, here's a perry agincourt i think french infantry model that i think the head works on pretty well for what would that be like gondorian fountain guard or something like that and then same thing here this is a perry foot knight from their war of the roses line if you're looking for more plate armor i think that's probably less effective than the agincourt model but still kind of cool so anyway what's the verdict i think that again um that i really certainly can't complain about the sculpting i think that this is another beautifully done kit from victrix as i mentioned at the beginning of the video i think my only complaint um, has to do with like what what it could have been right because of what i find so impressive are the, you know the tectonic bits so somebody picking this up specifically for the tectonic bits um, you're not going to have any complaints with the bits themselves. Uh, my only criticism is I wish there were more Teutonic bits, fewer Swan Knight bits. Um, and I think maybe someone picking this up for the Swan Knight heads would want more of those, fewer Teutonic and Fantasy heads. So as I kind of mentioned at the beginning of the video, maybe it would have been better to do two separate kits. Um, but I'm quite happy with the bits that I have that I'm after within this kit. So anyway, I've got a couple more reviews for you. I'll probably have a painting video out before that. Uh, and then, as I said, it will be on to some more review content. So, uh, as ever, appreciate you guys dropping by for another one. And until next time, happy gaming.